are headed out from Paris, getting ready to board a train to Switzerland. And this is the, uh, well, there's a pigeon. Y'all probably heard it. Maybe not, I don't know, but it just flew behind me inside the train station. <laughs> so, I'm excited. It's my first time on a speed train. So I think it goes 180 miles an hour. Take us about five hours to get to Switzerland. So, we'll holla back. Soon they will find the no, I think there's a, the restaurant. Oh, there we go. Now you're picking it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. so they, they, they added the, sex, the second hamster to the wheel. <laughs> it's been nice. I'll just look at the way. Sorry, everybody. Suction cup to the seat. Slam it to the table. I would like that. No, I don't know. Okay. Look. Okay, we just arrived in Switzerland, and this is uh, the Switzerland hotel. It's so much better than the other one. Once you figure out how to turn lights mm -hmm. on, which I have not figured out in the bathroom, then Switzerland is really beautiful. So I don't know if this is rawhide or like cowhide on the wall, but it's super fancy. Yeah. It's like stone. Free beds. It's not It's like stone? Yeah. It's no, not it's stone, okay. but it's like it's solid. Alright, we need to get some light so I can show. Maybe. Maybe so. And I'll probably just do the spa, like maybe book a uh, evening at the spa. That's why I just turned around. Say Switzerland. 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 This is the Swiss countryside. We are heading in to uh, Lucerne from, I don't know that I'm going to pronounce this properly, from Schindelegi. That's where the hotel is. So. Look at those cows. Cows grazing. It's rainy today, so um, I think this is. I think that's corn. Just a big field of corn, and they have the cutest houses here. Look at those hills in the back. Guys, and all those trees. This is a. Uh, there's a. There's a tree farm. Yes, a tree farm. I'm not sure what kind of tree. So, but you can see that they are protected. Uh, one second. Yeah, you only have Yeah, so this is your chance to grow because tonight those of that are doing the uh, the Swiss uh, fondue evening, you can go up on stage. So, and you are from the same. And apparently, okay, so here we are in Lucerne. It's the flags we just left out of this uh, Casa Grande souvenir shop with um, y'all drop some names for him in the comments uh, I don't know what to call him because I'm not really sure well let's call him like Andre with a J or something I don't know of any Swiss names so but it is beautiful here I don't want to offend anyone so I'm gonna preface it by saying that this is my personal opinion but I like Switzerland so much better than Paris so this is my opinion if y'all like Paris more go for it but it was my first time in Paris my first time in Switzerland and I feel like Paris has been oversold to me oversold under lip under delivered so I'm gonna get a few more um a few more just quick videos this is really just nothing other than the the, the view is just breathtaking to me with the mountains and all that good stuff so stay tuned more to come okay. here's the 
skyline of Lucerne. My group is talking about the paddle boat. I might video them doing that because unfortunately I don't feel well and I don't want to run the risk of getting wet. I'm used to Texas heat. I appreciate that it's not as hot as Texas here, but I don't, fly plane. I don't want to get wet. Plane. But I can really just take in the scenery. It's so beautiful. So this is just on the corner on a street in Lucerne. Fresh fruit and vegetables. I like that you near Bike, bike riding. Cute doggies. Okay, so I stumbled upon a farmer's market, apparently. And in Texas, farmer's markets sell purses and not fruit and vegetables. So this is very refreshing to find a farmer's market that actually sells farm fresh produce. And it looks really good. And from my understanding, grown without pesticides. Well done, Switzerland. It's like the oldest. Oh, the oldest. Wooden bridge. Okay. You gotta be very specific. So, very, very specific, yes. Yeah, because gotcha. it's like if you took out one of those words, it wouldn't be true. Right. Like the one of the oldest wooden bridges. Painted the oldest wooden bridge. <laughs> the oldest wooden bridge. <laughs> the oldest green one. Allegedly. We don't, we don't really know. We're reporting what our tour guide told us. Oldest. Wooden bridge in Switzerland or in Lucerne. So I thought this was really cool walking along. And in the back there, you can see a castle. So if you look all the way in the far back, you will see the castle. A Switzerland or a Swiss castle. I believe that's a church. Skyline and the castle. This is for you, Tino. I know they're not the same kind of sunflowers, but they're sunflowers. And this cute little, it's just a stand here. Got some flowers and herbs, and oh, it smells so good. And vegetables, very beautiful. Just randomly on the street. Okay, Switzerland, I think I love you. Everywhere I've walked so far, there's been some form of of a garden. So we are at, we just got to Chateau Gouche, which leads up to that hotel, that uh, castle. So we're gonna go have lunch. In a castle, how do you like that? But look how beautiful, so we have some peppers. And uh, it looks like lettuce, uh, but it's written in a language I don't speak, so I can't say for sure. More beautiful peppers. This one almost looks like a ghost <coughs> pepper. And this is probably some eggplant. Check there. Squash over in the... Judging from some of y'all leaves that you've been showing in your videos, it might be the candy roaster, I'm not sure grapes. All right, Switzerland, you are. What's up? More peppers. So I'm not sure if this is a farm to table restaurant. Yeah, this is. Uh, oh, look at that. Even in Switzerland. Mm -mm -mm. Get away from them. So let me see if there's any grapes on here. Oh, look. How cute. So I'm in a poncho because it started raining, but it's just, I wanted to be in the shot with all the plants. And just come pick a book if you want a book. I have never seen a flower like this before. And I have not. We need to change. 
<laughs> I do like miniature cherry trees. I have no idea what it is, but it's so beautiful. I have to look that up. If y'all know what it is, drop it in the chat. There's a whole tree of them over here. So we're at the top of uh, Hotel Gusht, which is, well, we're at the top by the castle, which is where we'll have lunch. Chateau, okay, I guess I'm saying that right, y'all. But that's the name of it. Gardens everywhere. Trees with fruit just on the street. My mama told me when she was a little girl growing up in New Orleans that New Orleans just had fruit trees all over. So I wish it was still that way. But in Switzerland, there is life everywhere. You the city if you go you overlooking the city. Amazing. So there is a wall glowing with chocolate in this chocolate store in Lucerne. And they have little flying chocolate things. You were in it anyway. <laughs> this is so cool. I've held birds before. I always see come up and hold them. <laughs> Is there something good on there? I'll get you guys food if you sit in my hand. And be my friend forever. Mm-hmm. Forever and ever? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, who are you? <laughs> It's been real, Switzerland. We are about to board the bus and head to Munich. So, y'all come take this ride with me.